Hello, or well, hey, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the RTX 360. Yes, the 360, it's finally launched. And there's mixed feelings about it so far. I mean, a lot of people were saying it's not, well, at the moment it's not the best time to release it and didn't really have a good launch. But hey, it's so nice graphics card to have. But yeah, so let's just go through the things that I read off and memorized and just talk about it and the price. So I'm gonna start with the price first so you know how much it costs. You can get it for around about $329, I think, depending where you get it from. I think New Egg has it for $329, so if you go to New Egg, you might be able to get it, depending on how stocks are. Because obviously there's a shortage, a shortage, uh, yeah. There's not much stock of silicon devices. We have like a shortage. I'm not gonna say the word because I'm struggling to say it, but yeah. So it's a nice graphics card. I mean, it's not going overboard. You get the ray tracing, you get the better performance in some way. I think it's like double the performance of a GTX 1660. Um, but it's very powerful for something that's cheap. But honestly, if I had to say how powerful it is, so it uses DLS or DLSS, I think. And basically you can get double the performance with frames per second with the DLS. Um, other thing is it is capable of ray tracing, obviously, because it's a RTX, so it does have the capability. And you can run Cyberpunk if you want to. Although, who really plays Cyberpunk anymore? But basically, this is nice to have for, I mean, if you just want to have a simple gaming setup that can play Minecraft, for example, ray tracing or good textures of Minecraft, or you want to have more of a realistic feel to Fortnite, or you just want to have a decent experience with um, Forza Horizon 4. But this thing is actually quite nice to have. Now, I honestly don't have the product because I mean, it just came out and it's gonna take a while to get to South Africa. But if I do have a chance in the future to do a review or just include it into a PC build in the future, then I would definitely take the opportunity. But otherwise, yeah, this thing, honestly, not the best timing to launch it because you have your cryptocurrency or Bitcoin mining and all that. So it's not the best time. And a lot of people prefer to use it for gaming. And there's a whole debate on the video, but I'm not going to dive into that with this video. If you want me to go into more depth of what the video did, then let me know in the comments or I'll just do it depending on what this video does. But otherwise, yeah, that's all I have to say about the RTX 3060. And yeah, I'll say it's decent enough and it might not be as powerful as a Radeon um, RX 6000 series or 6800 and all that, but hey, it's still cheap and is capable of run, or running things in a good pace. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Comment down below what you want to see next because I will look at the comments. And see you guys in the next video and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.